Welcome back to Yoga Express, your virtual stretch clinic that helps you move the body to still the mind. My name is Ban <clears throat> Banu Suresh. I'm your host for this program. I think that must be all that salsa I just had before we started. <laughs> Yoga Express airs Monday through Friday on Time Warner 57, RCN 84, and FIAS 35 at 1.30 in the afternoon. It's a half hour open studio show. It's a walk-in show, so you're welcome to come right into our open studio at Manhattan Neighborhood Network, which is where we tape these episodes. And just join us on the mat right now. Our spare mat is filled because Lana is back with us. So Lana, welcome back. To my immediate left, Lana Parr. I know I have a nickname for you, but I won't embarrass you again. Lana, anything you want to say? You didn't turn up in the last episode. Were you just taking a break? Yes. Okay, and we're happy to have you back. I hope, I hope you'll enjoy today's episode. I think you were so inspired by watching Michelangelo in yesterday's episode. I, I, I know. I, I was hoping someone. Hey, would whatever have brings you back here. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back. Thank Welcome you. back on the mat, Lana. To my extreme right, we have Ron Thomas. Ron has a show here every Thursday, one to two. Or is it two to three? One to one two. To big two. talk. Is big all. talk. And Ron has a lot of fans who keep asking him, how do you manage to be in both programs at the same time? Ron works magic, right? You have one foot in my program, one foot in your program. I'm in the matrix. <laughs> <laughs> Ron is, he has a live show. And ours is typically taped very recently. We've started going live Mondays only. So every Monday, 1.30. Renee, thank you so much. Every Monday, we go live, 1.30 to 2. We always have special guests coming on our live show, so feel free, call in. Whenever you have questions for our guests, you can be sure. If they do not have an answer, they will look it up for you. They'll find out. They'll check with others for I you. I want to thank everybody for following me back and forth. <laughs> Yoga Express. Ron, you yes. have a huge yes. fan yes. following, so it's yes. an honor to have you back. Yes. And manifest. And yes. manifest. So good to see. In our control room, Josiane Hurd, our director, thank you so much, Josiane, for hanging in there, putting up with us. We have Beverly Fields assisting Josiane on camera, and we have Adjo Mantabia assisting in the control room as well. So thank you so much to all of you. Roberta Espinel, responsible for the studio lights and the setup right here. Body music that you will hear when I shut up, right there, has been created just for Yoga Express by Cesar de Para, opening track from Saptatandam, for which we have special permission, by the way. Beautiful. Now for the big moment, Michelangelo. Michelangelo was our special guest in the last episode, and you're back with us. So that yes. must say, that says plenty for you, definitely about you and for you. But it also says something about our program that you chose to come back. So thank you. Yes. We're honored to thank have you, you back, so much. Michelangelo. Thank you so much. I'm happy to be It was here. so inspiring to listen to you in the last episode that I just had to have you back. Yeah. I needed to ask you for some clarification. Okay. Mm -hmm. You talked about aura, and just before we started today, we talked about the aura of precious stones. Yes. Do you also talk about that on your show, and can you tell us a little more? You seem to know a lot more than you let us uh, pick up. I just want a blue opal, man. <laughs> yeah, that, that's right. He's talking about the opal cufflinks. You know, Ron has got right, a pair right, of cufflinks right. that you wear where people pick you up by right, your cufflinks. Right, right. But they he has do. these amazing, yeah. He, so what is it with stones? What, how do you talk about the vibrations of stones? Each, like crystals, diamonds right. you had mentioned before, right, right. they all have a, 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 a consistency that makes a makeup that gives them that um, form. So they have a vibration with them. Right. The and each one, each stone, it could be a precious stone or a semi-precious stone or whatever one wants to label it. It is, it has, um, the Hawaiians would say mana. It has energy. Some of right. it can also, like different crystals, rose crystals they say, will um, um, amplify love or um, um, bring love, more love to you. A right. clear crystal, for example, is something that you can, it's like the clear of mind. Right, right. The tr like the tears are yeah, clear yeah, crystals. Right. Yes. Now I go on the internet, I see all these cufflinks, I'm like, wow. Now yes. Ron's going to go pick up a pair from I see cufflinks for $1,503,000. Like, well, yeah, the, uh, that's the metals. I mean, the metals have also a different energy and different tribe yeah. of people. They utilize those different metals right. for different um, ceremonies. Right. Again, okay. they have a different um, consistency and a vibration like silver and gold. Um, that's why they're so precious because of the the vibration that they give off. Does it have anything to do with the pe person who owned it previously? 
You think? Yes. Because we believe in in, in South India anyway yes. with the diamonds. Yes. When the person who sells the diamonds to you, they yes. leave it with you for about a week, mm -hmm. and good things happen. It all depends on who owned it before. Yes. If they've had a lot of bad things in the family, yes. that transfers. That is totally true. You mentioned true. Lana. You mentioned some opal ring or something that you like. You feel good when you wear it. Um, was it what stone was it? I think it was an amethyst. Amethyst. Okay. Mm -hmm. So when right. she wears it, I have a ring and. Corals are not really my stone according to the traditional uh, horoscope, but when I wear this ring with a coral, it's a gold ring yes. with a coral in it, yes. I just feel like a Miss Goody Two Shoes. Yes. I just feel so Beautiful. good inside. Yes. So it has something to do with a vibration. It has a vibration. And some <coughs> things, for example, um, one can look at it and they say, oh, um, I'm drawn toward it in a very positive way, as you're right. mentioning. Right. But sometimes, you can look at something like they say the world famous Hope Diamond has been said to be, you know, ruined people's lives oh, wow. because certain things um, went into it. Right. That when the person was wearing it, either horrible situations, and that has that energy on it. You yes. can you can feel it. You can just look at it. Like I usually, you trust a child. If a child goes to something like back, there's some vibration that's on it. Okay. Also, people who are sensitives or whatever or and many of our um, um, elder citizens are also very perceptive on the energies yeah. oh, because okay. they lived enough, enough times to see this information and you can also heal with a crystal crystals are so powerful because when they're pointed and that sun goes through them they can light up a room and they're lasers they have these lasers that are just crystal right. light energy. So you talk mm. about all this energy in your show? Yes, we well, do. Manifest for TV? Yes, Manifest for TV. Which is about mind over matter, the yes. power of the mind. The power of the mind. Thought equals matter. As, Thought um, equals yes, matter. Yes, Yael Reed would say, the, um, the producer. You have host. Michelangelo's website right there. Michelangelo, because for want of a better term, I call you a creative artist. You have so many dimensions to you. I just didn't know. You're a producer, you're a uh, writer, you're a composer, a choreographer. Yes. Very briefly, tell us all your other dimensions. What else do you do? I know you've produced musicals as yes, well. Yes, yes. Um, I love, I love life. Yeah, I really love life and... You just in finger and toe in every part. Yes, I just try to get in and start swimming in it, swimming. So Sometimes I'm like, but... All this is just let go all of these things, creation, be, whatever comes yourself. through. And it, you, it's, 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 it's a beautiful thing. You just feel like, you know, just let it go. Every time I try to hold things back, right, right. whatever those creativities are, and it's not even me who's doing anything. It's the universe that's bringing everything to and the reality. And you're letting it. Yeah. And I just have to get out of the way, like they say, get out of the way. And I have, it's like having a child. You don't hold on to that child. How do you know that? Because I have a, I have a child. You have a little boy. But I have a son. You didn't but birth I, your child. I beg your pardon? You didn't birth your child. I know, but either the mother has to. <laughs> I know. Well, you do. But I was, I was birthed, but my mother birthed me. Right, right. So that means you I... You were too I, little. Your mother would have yeah, explained. Right. I see so what you you're saying. You have to let it go. Just let it go. You have to let it go. And the more it really that you let it go, if there's something that's like in the world that is not really cool and you're kind of like complaining about right, it, right. then there's a point that you can, if you see that it needs you to know, be changed, you do it. You be it. You brought up an operator right? word. You create it. You create it. Right. You yes. brought up the operator word complain because things mm -hmm. can happen. <laughs> and you, you've made me think deeper about what I always have maintained, but it, you've just given it another dimension right now. Things happen outside of us which are not in our control. Yes. And that's what all this stretching is about, starting moving the body to yes. still the mind. So what we are trying to do, and my opening thing on my webpage is actually, you cannot stop a thunderstorm, but you can carry an umbrella. So Thank what we're trying you. to do is protect Ooh. ourselves. Just and my dad used to say that all the time. Right. And now I own it. <laughs> I own it because I sort of put it compactly, but he would always say something. So what we are doing is just covering, yeah, we yes. are actually insulating ourselves from yes. external harm. Yes. So you're talking about when people complain, for example. Yes. Things will happen. You yes. just have to let things ride out on their own, right? That's it, yes. And sometimes things happen, which is amazing. Sometimes things happen and they're really for our good. Right, right. You have no idea. We have no just idea. Just accept. You, once you accept it, and it's, um, even I've been in some situations, some awkward things, I'm sure all of us have been. Right. And it really, without that happening, 
You it would not know. bring me here to where I am now. Right. And so right. you have to just, my mother passed away um, tragically. Um, I wish, of course, that she was here, but that was her story that she had to do. But without that, my son probably wouldn't be born. I wouldn't have met this beautiful mother. So that, all those things happen in our lives really right. for our good. Right, so it's actually yeah, a Horrible kind of things, a, too. Some things are tough, but the, yes. Right, it's an acceptance. Oh, yeah, Cornel West talks about dealing with catastrophe. Yeah. Yes. You yes. must have some Hindu blood in you. In the Hindu religion, that's what we believe. You just accept what comes to you. Yes. Everything just happens for a reason. Everything is in a reason. For a reason. For, for your I good. For, for your, own your own good. good. For your it's own for your good. good. And that is the, there's no resentment, you know, if my, if, um, I'm kind of complaining, you know, I didn't get this, I don't get that. You know what? You don't going to get it. You won't get it because you're complaining because you don't get it. It's because that. we're spending our energy complaining. Yes. It's working towards, yeah. <laughs> I wanted those cufflinks. <laughs> Right, with all the going energy, deeper into the ditch, I, I with, can't get out. You with know? so much energy, I think we better start stretching. Or we're going right. to use all that energy here. Right. Just, okay. But no, that's very beautifully put. I like the way you. Put okay. It. Yeah. Get out of the ditch. Yeah, just. And then dig him deeper. You know, you're digging deeper again. Okay. That is so graphic. That's so nicely done. We just dig ourselves deeper and deeper into right. the pit. Right. But we're going to get out of that okay. pit. We're going to start moving. Lana, yeah. you're good, right? We're going to do standing yeah. stretches. Well, let's do the sun Beautiful. salutation, and then when we are done. After our stretching, we're going to have Michelangelo take us through a slightly different path in the last couple of minutes, like we did in the last episode. Lana, why don't you come forward? I'll go back. Maybe, Michelangelo, okay. you can come forward. Ron, you can come back. Okay. Heels together, toes apart. I may have to come forward because of my mat, uh, the sun salutation. Palms in front of your chest. Press your palms in. That already gives you a nice massage for the wrist. Raise your elbows. That helps you stay. Can I do that? Oh, don't press it too hard. Don't press it too right. hard. Just relax. When I say press, yeah, that's it. That's good enough. You shouldn't press till your hands shake. There's no need for that. Raise your elbows. That helps you stay in the moment. Inhale. Take your arms up. Wiggle your biceps behind your ears. Exhale. Fold from the hip. Place your palms six to eight inches in front of your feet. I'm going to have to go a little further. I need room for my legs. Take your left leg back, and then the right. Lana, bend your knees. That's good. Exhale, press your heels all the way down. If your heels don't come down the first time, that's OK. Keep working at it till you can finally get them down. You get a beautiful hamstring stretch right there. Oh, it feels Dip great. It feels good, oh, right? Yeah. Oh. Dip your head between your biceps. And this is one of the most popular postures, one of the four most popular postures oh. in yoga. Inhale, bring the right foot between the hands. Place the left knee on the floor. Uncurl your toes very gently. Take your time, Lana. Uncurl your toes in the left foot. That's OK. What do I hear with the left foot? Well, you're taking your left foot back and placing it on the ground, yeah? And then bring your right foot forward. Place your left knee on the ground very gently. Come down. That's it. Beautiful. Very nice. And then slowly wiggle your right foot forward. Both palms on the right knee. Very gently, yeah. Bring your right foot forward. Take your time. For those of you who already have your hands on your knee, exhale and dip. Take your time. You don't have to do the next one then. Stay there. We'll, we'll join you in the next one. Hold it. You can hold on your knee, right? Stay there. Exhale and dip. Right knee is up. Inhale the left arm up. Exhale. Dip your left elbow over your right knee. Place your right palm on top of the left. Look up at the raised right elbow and hold. Remember, it's hold your posture, not your breath. Inhale. Let's come out of that. And let's switch legs. Very gently, Lana, you want to take your right leg back. Both palms beside the right foot. Take the right leg back. Bring the left foot forward. This is a slight variation to the regular sun salutation we do because what we're doing here is actually combining the two sides. Typically, we would do one side first and then do the other side. Both palms on the left knee, just like Michelangelo has it. Bring your elbows out and then dip your hip. Keep exhaling and dip. Left knee is up. Inhale the right arm up. Exhale. Dip your right elbow over your left knee. Good. Place your left palm on top of your right, on the other side, in the front, just on top of your right palm. Yep. Raise your left elbow, look up at the raised elbow. That's it. Look up at the raised elbow and hold. 
inhale. Let's come out of that. Both palms beside the left foot. Curl your toes in in the right. Raise your right knee. Take the left. Alternate the right in plank position. So go gently. Take your time. Raise, and you can stay with on your knees, Lana. No problem. Knees, chest, and chin to the floor. Exhale and dip. Inhale, glide out into cobra. Press with your palms, press with the tops of your feet, and Ron knows what's coming next, right, Ron? <laughs> yep. Inhale, first let's come up. And then when you're as high as you can go, Lana, that's good, stay there. For those of you who are all the way down on the mat, take your palms, press with the tops of your feet, take your palms off of the floor. Tighten your buttock muscles to protect your back. This is really testing the strength of your back, but you need your buttocks to support you. Palms back on the floor, forehead to the ground, curl your toes in. Inhale, join us, Lana. Take your buttocks all the way up. Exhale, press your heels down. As I always like to say, if you hear pops and crackles, don't worry. Those are not Rice Krispies, those are air pockets. <laughs> Inhale, bring your left foot and then the right between the hands. Place both palms together. Inhale, come up with a straight back. Exhale and release. Before we move on mm. to the next two rounds, we don't have too much time, probably have time for two simple rounds. Talk about chakras. Yes. You know, when we are doing the sun salutation, I can already feel my energy rising. Yes. So we, I remember you and Yael, both of you talk about chakras on your show yes, as well, right? Yes, yes, we do. Now, what, what level do you think, the, do the chakras vary with the day, time of day? The energy level, if I did the sun salutation at night, would my chakras rise as much? I'm not, I really could not say that. You're, they're vibrating all on different levels all the time. Oh, they're just moving So they're just around. rotating all the time at different so times. So if you want the chakras to really move up? Yes, you ground yourself from the root. Okay. That's the, the, and then it will start to activate different points. It depends on how far you go. Right. In yourself. So it's not, not everyone is going to go like five, six, seven, eight, right, nine, right. ten, you know? So, so I already feel my battery is getting recharged. Yes, 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 <laughs> right? yes, it yes. It feels like an empty battery. Yes, when yes, you need to yes, yes. All right, let's do two more simple rounds of the sun salutation before we hand over back to Michelangelo. Okay. Heels together, toes apart, palms in front of your chest. Push your palms in, not too much, Lana. Just what you did last time is good. Elbows are raised. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, fold from the hip. Palms six to eight inches away from your feet. Take the right leg back this time first and then the left. Exhale, push your heels all the way down. Dip your head between your biceps and hold. Each, each of these postures, Michelangelo, they have a name in Sanskrit and this one is what they call the downward dog. The downward Probably dog. every school teaches this posture only because it's so effective. Wonderful. Inhale, mm -hmm. bring the left foot between the hands this time. And Lana, do your modification. Place the right knee on the floor, uncurl your toes in the right foot. And this time we're gonna go from the left to the right. Both palms, very gently, just wiggle your right left foot forward a little more, Lana. Mm -hmm. Both knees on the left knee, both hands on the left knee. Exhale and dip. Take your time. It's these things, are, the, the rubber things. Are yes, see the, the rubber dots under Lana's socks, they can be a disadvantage sometimes. You're right, yes, they don't let you. That, stay where you are, if it doesn't hurt you, that's fine. Exhale and dip. We're gonna switch legs anyway, Lana. I know, I know what you mean. Those rubber dots can be good sometimes, but sometimes they're a curse. Inhale, raise the right hand, good. Exhale, dip your right elbow over the left knee. Place your left palm on top of the right. Raise your left elbow. Turn to look up at the raised elbow and hold. So you wanna lift your left elbow, Lana. Raise the left, left elbow, just the left one. That, no, here, watch this. One on top of the other, then just lift this one. That's it, yep. And then inhale. Let's come out of that and let's switch legs this time. Take the left leg back, bring the right foot forward. 
And the last round of sun salutation that we do, we're gonna do a basic one, but we're gonna do two single sides. And then I'll do a quick cover, take your time, bring the right foot forward, place the left knee on the floor. Bend your left knee, exhale, and dip. Right knee is up, inhale, the left arm up. Yeah, good, exhale, dip your left hand over your right knee. Place your right palm on top of the left, look up at the raised elbow, and hold. You should feel a delicious stretch on your obliques on the left side, a beautiful compression of your obliques, which is your midpoint, your midriff, on the right side. Inhale, let's come out of that. Place both palms beside the right foot. Curl your toes in in the left. Take the right to meet the left in plank position. Raise your left knee and hold in plank. Very gently, go back. And you don't have to come up in plank. You can keep your knees on the floor. Knees, chest and chin to the floor. Exhale and dip. Inhale, glide out into cobra. Press with your palms, press with the tops of your feet. Inhale and come up just a little bit. Now tighten your buttock muscles to strengthen your back and then do what Ron and Michelangelo are doing. Take your palms off of the floor. You stay where you are, Lana, you're fine. If you take your palms off, you're gonna plonk down. <laughs> so you don't wanna do that, no. No, because you're, <laughs> exactly. You're not in prone, so don't do that. <laughs> Place your palms back on the floor, forehead to the ground, curl your toes in. Inhale, bring your buttocks, now join us, Lana. Bring your buttocks all the way up. Inhale as you come up. Exhale, press your heels down. Dip your head between your biceps and hold. The downward facing dog is an exceptionally good posture for us to reflect on our whole body movement. Right there is a great time to think. Of course, sometimes I may go think of my shopping list, but if you can keep your mind focused, <laughs> this is a great one. Inhale, bring the right foot and then the left between the hands. And you can do it in stages. You don't have to bring your foot forward all the way in one go. Press your palms together. Inhale, come up with a straight back. Exhale and release. Good. Not really. No, I think you made an effort. The only thing you skipped was a plank, which is fine. Which is fine. I can see all the flush in Lana's mm. face. She's already got her chakras yeah, moving. That's, that's good. That's a beautiful, radiant, that's radiant. <laughs> We have about four mi uh, three minutes left, I think. So we'll do one more minute of a single, yes. simple sun salutation. And this one, there'll be no plank. It'll just be a simple one, so join us. You'll be fine in this. Now we're gonna close with Michelangelo giving us a quick wrap up of chakras. Let's, well, let's keep that a surprise for the end. Press your palms in, because we need to do sun salutation in odd numbers. One, three, five. I have no idea why, but I was trained to say that. <laughs> Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, fold from the hip. Place your palms six to eight inches in front of your feet. Take your right leg back and then the left. Dip your head between your biceps. Press your heels all the way down and hold. Inhale, bring the left foot and then the right between the hands. This is a shortcut. This is a yoga express. Actually, this is not the yoga express sun salutation. It's a quick round. Press your palms in, inhale, let's come up with a straight back. <sighs> Exhale and release. One last round, this time taking the left foot back first. Inhale, take your arms up. Exhale, fold from the hip. Palms six to eight inches in front of your feet. Take the left leg back first this time and then the right. Exhale and dip your heels down. Dip your head between your biceps. Inhale, bring the left foot and then the right between the hands. Place both palms together. Inhale, come up with a straight back. Exhale and release. We're all going to sit down right now. We're going to give Michelangelo, actually, uh, Michelangelo is going to wrap up for us. So. Go ahead and tell us what's happening with all this energy in our body. Why are we feeling all this heat? And are we creating any aura at all? Yes, to all of them. What's happening in the body is when we're breathing in that air, 
Uh -huh. It's just energy, of course, because it's energizing us and making right. that, it's purifying right. our blood. Right. We're vibrating at a higher level now than we were before because of the energy that's flowing through us right. all. Right. And again, from our, the chakras, from the root chakra being grounded with the earth, mm. we can feel that vibration because we were really relating with the earth. So one of the reasons why we're practicing bare feet. Yes. That's helping us, right? It is totally fantastic because through your through the meridians in your feet, that, that right. pulse is still going straight there. And also, even in our fingertips. Right. So everything is circular. Our breathing is circular. Our right. hair is circular. So we're feeling that whole vibration of being here in one space. Also, we're breathing the same air, and we're right. breathing together. Right. So it's synchronized. It's synchronized. We're, we're right. feeling each other's energy, and it's really, uh, we all lift each other up in that moment. I love so, the spiritual angle that Michelangelo brings to this. I go you, with the I'm physiological sorry. thing and I keep seeing stretchy obliques and stretch this and yeah, he brings all that spiritual. Well, what you're, what you're sharing is absolutely fantastic. I can see how also both Ron, I can say also. I'm is, seeing stars. Is he seeing stars, you know, <laughs> and Lana. Yeah, I saw right. the stars too. No, those are real little stars. Right. <laughs> 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 so so it's talking, really beautiful. Michelangelo, stay in touch with Michelangelo through his website. Do you have a link to send a, so they can send you an email? Well, you website? can. Yes, there's a link where you can also um, stay in contact with me. Okay. Um, through that. Through I my have website your website. Well. It is a long one. It'll, it's back on the screen. It's Michelangelo's art dot w i x dot com yes. forward slash Michelangelo's arts with an a r t z. It's all on the screen. I'm just reading from my little crib notes here, and. Go ahead, check out his work. Michelangelo, we do have about 30 seconds, so just remind our viewers, you're a painter, you're a choreographer. Yes. What else is on your website? Um, I have poems. Poems as well? Yes. Wow. Okay. Um, there's some beautiful photography of um, people or situations and places. Nice. Okay. And so you're a photographer as well? I, whatever. You've done Give it all. Give me a camera, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I, to, to, to Where do you get all your energy from? Beautiful people in life. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes, Very yes. Good. We you get it. You didn't mention it. I beg your pardon? You're an actor as well. Yes, I am. Yes. Actor, that's I'm, right. Yes, yes. Actor, Thank choreographer, yes. musician, yes. director, playwright, and you co-host the show Manifest. Manifest.